Hi, my name is Doru and today I'm going to show you how to export a DynamoDB table to an S3 bucket. Let's get started. To do this, you'll have to work with DynamoDB, S3 and Data Pipeline. First thing you want to do is create a new table in DynamoDB. We just have test1. The primary key for me will be ID and will be a number. Once your table got created, let's create a few items in it. You can do that by clicking on items and then create item. It will be ID1. And then we'll have a name that will be a string. That's the first item. Let's create another one. So I will have an ID of two. It will be age, so it will be a number. Save that. So now we have two items in our database. Next thing you want to do is go to S3 and create a new bucket. Remember this uh, bucket name needs to be unique. So I just try this, test. Yeah. The region will be, for me, it's EU Ireland because it's the closest data center to me. If you live in the US, just choose one that's closest to you or Australia has a few. Just, just the one that's closest to you usually. So we won't do any properties, won't set any properties or permissions for now. Just click create. His name is already taken. Let's try this. So if the name is not taken, you should create your new bucket. This is it. So it's that 12321 2. Yeah. So your bucket will be empty for now. Next, we're going to go into Data Pipeline. If you're not sure how to get to this service, just search for Data Pipeline. It will be the first result. Just click on that. I'm already on it. So create a new pipeline, add the name, pipeline for test. Now, when it comes to uh, selecting a source, what you want to choose is export DynamoDB table to S3. So we also have here import. Depends on what you want to do. You have loads of options. For now, we're just going to export DynamoDB table to S3. Yeah, it's asking you for a source DynamoDB table name. So it'll be the table that you just created in DynamoDB. In our case, test one. When it comes to outputting to S3 folder, this is the bucket that you've just created, remember? So we just click on this icon, select the one that you want to export into, in my case will be this one. You don't have to worry about the read through output ratio or anything else. Well, actually, set the region uh, of the table. So in my case, will be Ireland, and that's EU last one yeah depends when you want to run uh, your data pipeline in my case I want the pipeline to run on activation you can also schedule it if you wanted to I'll just run it on activation for now pipeline configuration I will disable it I don't need this for now and then I'll leave the default I am role you can add tags that's really good if you're within a company. We'll keep track of all the costs and everything. Let's next edit in architect. Click on that button. So this is showing you the configuration. Let's click on activities. I'll change that to Test backup activity. Then you have to, uh, you can select other types if you want to. I'll just have an AMR activity. Output will be to an S3 backup location. What I want you to do next is create a new option. So click on this and have on success. 
and this will create a new action will be default action one for now and then have another option that will be on fail again just create a new action for this as well next if you go into others here you can see that you have default action one and default action two let's change this to success be an SNS alarm so this will set you an alarm if the export was successful here it's asking you for an SNS topic to be able to provide this you'll go into AWS SNS and here you'll have a new topic created automatically by Dynamo if you click onto this this is your topic just copy this and just paste it in here that's all you have to do next the role will be data pipeline default role yeah the subject would be this success for example and then the message will be export successful you can add whatever you want to let's move on to the next default action will be type SNS alarm again exactly the same topic role will be the same this will be failure though failure just have it failure SNS alarm this can be success SNS alarm yeah so you have a name which is failure SNS alarm type SNS alarm then your topic and don't forget to add a subject and a message set failure yep so if you're happy with that click save this will ask, ask you to activate this new pipeline click activate so now it's taking to the list of pipelines it says here your pipeline pipeline is now active objects will be visible on pipeline execution now this might take a few minutes just wait uh, till something will show up here just keep refreshing the page so as you can see I have test backup activity now it's waiting for runner once the status is running your data should be exported into the new S3 bucket okay so once your data pipeline is work it's running the status is running here you can go into your S3 check your bucket and then you have it you have your object I go into the object I have the success because the export was a success and then you have your file if you want to check this file just to check if the data is correct it's exactly what you have in your DynamoDB you can download it and open the file into output plus plus or any other editor so if you look here I have an ID that's two and the age it's 21 then I have a name that's George with the ID one yeah so let's check again so if we go to your dynamo yeah it's test one I have item one just with age 21 well that's item 2 actually and then you have I the first item which is name George that's it it's pretty simple just follow these steps and it should work remember if you have any questions just ask me in the comments and I'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you